Wolcott and Augusta. <laughs> There's the Angel's Barn, Angel's Barn. Look at that, it's a, it's a wood sculpture. Backlit with glass black. Nice. Look at this. Look at that, look at that fountain. It's a big pile of dew. Look at that, what does it say? It's called the shit, oh, look what it's called. <laughs> That's historic right there. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Did you see that? <laughs> All kinds of crazy artwork on that corner. Right next to the Angel's Barn. Look at this. Look at this woodwork. Look at that interla interlacing woodwork with the beams there. Your thoughts on the war into words. There you go. You can leave your mark right there in two words. Look. Yeah, look at that. Hey, you got the markers right there. Well, here, let's write something here. <laughs> there, look at that. <laughs> Free speech. <laughs> look at look at these modernist ones. Well, so look, Lincoln Public Bath. What is this? I didn't know this was here. What is this? Lincoln's Public Bath, Chicago Park District. What is this? Let me look this up. I gotta see what this is here. Hold on a second here. Here's where the second phone comes in handy because I don't know what this is. And this has gotta be something. Hold on a second here, one second. Let me film this. Here we go. Hold on. Public bath. There we go. Public bath. The Bathhouse Cultural Center. It's called the Wicker Park Public Bathhouse. Let's see what this is. It's a property. It's on the market for $2.3 million. And what is it? Why is it called this? It was built in 1913, huh, and it's a private residence. Why do they call it that? Let's see. There, it's the cultural center. Okay, let's see. The former Lincoln Street bathhouse is one of just four municipal bathhouses still standing in Chicago. Between 1894 and 1918, indoor plumbing, bathing facilities were not common, so it was private Turkish and Russian bathhouses operated nearby. Lincoln Street Public Bath is actually the most architecturally interesting of these baths, ancient Roman monuments. Look at that. So this is a, this is a public bathhouse back before people had indoor plumbing. So people could come here, it goes back there, and they could take a bath. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah, next to the next to the sh next to the shit fountain. I know. <laughs> That's good. Thanks for yeah. It's a community bath. They they said okay yeah you, you, you yeah, there there's a it's called the bath it's the, the bath house cultural center the Lincoln Street bathhouse. Completed in 1918. It was one of there was 19 of these in the city. This was the one in Wicker Park. It was a public bathhouse. And now it's a private residence, and it's sold for two point three million or two point five million dollars. It has a courtyard. Look at that. Here, hold on a second. Here, I don't mean to. Well, I won't, I won't peer. I'll respect people's privacy. I'm not going to film over the fence. I'm not a paparazzi. But uh, look at look at this. Look look. You can see it here. Look how large it is. It goes back and it wraps around there. Yeah, the Lincoln Public Bass House. Yeah, that's why. Thanks for seeing that. I I, I really did not know that was there. And so look at the things we learn, just walk, wandering around the city, picking different routes. Public baths and showers there because people would use the parks to shower too before indoor plumbing. We forget a lot of these buildings when they were built, they didn't have indoor plumbing because they were, they're that old, you know? And uh, yeah, that's amazing, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Public bathhouse, yeah, and there was also Turkish baths and Russian baths where you know you'd pay and they had the special hot and cold areas, 
you know, just like the Roman days, you sit there with your toga. <laughs> That's awesome.